Over the next few minutes, we will show you how to submit T4 slips and summaries to the Canada Revenue Agency, and how to print them out for employees. T4 slips list the employee earnings and tax information for the calendar year. You must submit the T4 slips to the federal government and to employees after each calendar year, usually by the end of February. T4 slips include Employee and employer information Employment income before deductions Canada Pension Plan, or CPP And Quebec Pension Plan, or QPP contributions Employment insurance, or EI premiums And Quebec Parental Insurance Plan or QPIP premiums. Income tax deducted, and taxable benefits. You can file paper copies of T4 slips, or you can file them electronically. In either case, you must always provide printed copies to your employees. If you are filing five or more T4 slips, the CRA requires you to file the slips electronically. A T4 summary lists the total values from amounts reported on related T4 slips. It is submitted together with the T4 slips. Before you begin to print and file T4 slips, you should complete the tasks listed next. Check and verify the company information, such as the company's name and address. Verify employees' information, including their social insurance, or SIN number, first and last name, full address, and province of employment. Review the values on the T4 and RL1 reporting tab in the employee records and make all required adjustments. Finally, generate the peer report and review if there are any discrepancies. After completing all these tasks, you can print or electronically file the T4 slips and summary. We'll see how to print the forms first. If you have chosen the automatic payroll service plan, you can print the T4 slips and summary on plain paper or on preprinted forms. Before printing the slips and summary, review the printer settings for these forms. For this, from the home window, go to the setup menu and open reports and forms. Expand the government forms options and select federal payroll. In the T4 slips printer settings and in the T4 summary printer settings, select the correct printer and either the preprinted or the plain paper forms options. We'll select plain paper forms for both and save the changes to print the T4 slips and summary. From the home window, select the reports menu, choose payroll, and then print T4 slips and summary. Select the payroll year for which you are printing the T4s. Select the employees from the list. If you are printing the T4 slips for all the employees, select the include inactive employees option and click select all. The include inactive employees checkbox includes employees who were marked inactive. To print T4 slips for the federal government, select the Print CRA Copy option. To print T4 slips for your employees and your company records, select the option to print employee and company copies. To print a T4 summary for filing, select the Print CRA T4 summary option. Because we are printing the T4 summary, we need to complete the T4 summary business information tab and T4 summary contact information tab. In the T4 box options window, we can assign the amounts in specific incomes and deductions to print in specific boxes on the T4. In the Incomes tab, select the code beside the income that is reported in the other information boxes in addition to box 14, when required by the CRA. Do not select any code if the income is only reported in box 14. In the Deductions tab, select the code beside the deduction if you want it to be reported in a specific T4 box. We won't make any changes in our example. Let's click OK. Sage 50 proceeds with a validation process, checking company settings and employee information. Then it begins to print the T4 slips. If any checks and balances did not validate, Sage 50 displays the information in the print record summary window. The T4 summary window displays a summary of the T4, deductions, and remittances for the reporting year. The deduction section displays both the employee's and employer's CPP and EI contribution amounts, the income tax deducted, and the total deductions reported on all the employee's T4 slips. The remittances section displays the total amount of remittance payments made for the year using the pay remittance feature in Sage 50. 
When using this feature, the end of remitting period field must be used with dates between January 1st to December 31st of the reporting year. Remittance amounts dated January 1st to December 31st are calculated on the T4 summary remittance payments. If your company does not use the pay remittances feature in Sage 50, you can use the other payments field to enter the amount of remittance payments made to the CRA for the reporting year. Let's click print to print the T4 summary. Once the slips and summary are printed, click OK to go back to the home window. Let's now see how to file the T4 slips electronically. If you have chosen the automatic payroll service plan, Sage 50 offers the option to electronically file or e-file your T4 slips via the internet or net file. Or you can submit the T4s on magnetic media. You do not need to submit a summary when you file electronically. To file the T4 slips electronically, from the home window, we select the file menu, choose import export, electronic filing, and then export T4s via internet file transfer. Select the payroll year for which you are filing and the employees for whom we want to file the T4 slips. To select an employee whose status is inactive, select the Include Inactive Employees checkbox. If you are filing the T4 slips for all your employees, select the Include Inactive Employees option and click Select All. Let's complete the information in the multiple tabs. We use the Transmission Information tab only if filing using magnetic media, like CD or DVD. In the Business Information tab, we enter the payroll account number. This 15-digit payroll account number contains the 9-digit business number. The business number is a unique federal government numbering system that identifies your business and the various accounts you maintain. The payroll account number consists of the 9-digit business number, the two letters for the type of account. For payroll the letters are RP. For numbers for the specific account reference. We'll select the business type. Depending on the selection, you may have to enter the SIN number of one or two of the primary business owners. We'll use other for our example. Let's also enter the name, contact information, and communication language preference for the company's payroll contact person. Once all the information is entered, click OK. If asked to save the contact information, click Yes. In the T4 box options window, assign incomes and deductions to the correct T4 slip box numbers, if necessary. We won't make any changes here. Sage 50 Accounting validates company and employee information before creating the file for transmission and advises if errors are found. If the validation process is successful, then the T4 information is exported to a file. If Sage 50 finds at least one invalid employee, we will receive a confirmation message and can continue exporting with the invalid employees excluded. If this happens, click Yes to continue. Select the location on your hard drive where the file will be created. Sage 50 uses the default file name, t4efile001.xml. The three numbers correspond to the submission sequence number. For example, if this is your second submission, then modify the default file name to t4efile002.xml. To print the transmission details for your records, click Print in the Export Record Summary window. Click the T4 Internet Filing link to get access to the CRA website and follow the instructions to upload the XML file. We will close the window. As a side note, the CRA permits you to file amended T4 slips electronically and on paper. For a complete guide and information of filing amended T4 slips, visit the CRA website. Congratulations! You now know how to submit T4 slips and summaries to the Canada Revenue Agency. To continue your education and become more proficient with Sage 50, sageu.com has an extensive library of learning topics. The Level 2 Payroll Module Training Course covers all topics related to payroll in Sage 50. Be sure to visit the Sage 50 Canada Year-End Centre to access more free resources for a peaceful year-end.